Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. Welcome to Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. Now the game fully comes out on the 15th and I have just a partially unlocked version here, but we can have a game against the AI and take a look at some new features, the user interface, and how bad I am at Age of Empires 3. So, should be fun. I can see here I'm going to be going for Japanese, though I do actually have quite a few civilizations now and of course there's two new ones, the Incas and the Swedes, and then there's also a couple of renamed ones that uh, one of them in particular, I think I'm going to have to practice pronouncing that off camera and not embarrass myself in front of you guys. And so this is my deck I'm going to be playing as uh, Japanese. I haven't really looked at any of the other ones, but notice first thing, everything's unlocked right away. So that's actually a really nice change. I really appreciate that. And not having to grind through and unlock everything and level up the home city. They have some default ones, though I made a couple of slight adjustments to this one extra resources, We've got some free units. I love these guys, 4,500 gold, but if you can get there, man, these things are unstoppable. And then a few unit upgrades, a few economy ones. It's a, it should be a good balance, I think. And I, sort of the shrine boom is kind of my, my main go-to. So maybe we'll try, maybe we'll try the Incas, one of the new civilizations, and we'll try Swedes. I'm just going to play as Japanese because this is my first game here. So I'm going to play a civilization I'm more familiar with. Uh, actually, the last one could be random. That's fine. That looks fine. Although this guy should probably be blue. Okay. And let's see. I, I think there's some new maps here as well. But maybe I just want land maps because <laughs> my deck, I have no water cards. So let's do that. Okay, for difficulty... I'm not sure how much they upped it. There's a new extreme difficulty. I'm not good enough to do that, I don't think. Normally I play against hardest, but I kind of have to focus to do that, so maybe I'll play hard. And I don't know, maybe they're all a little bit stronger anyway. And let's see, game speed. That's probably fine. Okay, I think that looks good to me. Let's check it out. <laughs> Alright, well I'm two minutes into this game and I just lost both of my scouts trying to get a treasure. Yeah, I think I'm just going to restart this one. We're going to re-roll it and I'm not going to do that next time. Alright, Yukon. Home field advantage for me. Uh, should be some animals in Yukon, right? That's the only thing I just I need. So the Japanese strategy is to make shrines, and shrines are way better when they're beside animals, so you kind of want as many herds as possible. Oh, I got two of these. Oh, sweet. Okay. Cool. I don't know if cherry blossoms actually grow in Yukon in the middle of winter, but hopefully. I'm kind of counting on those as my food source. This will aid us in our plans. I think the most important thing here first is to find where the animals are and... Yeah, so wood treasure there. That's gonna be good. I gotta grab that one. Alright, and what is this? Yeah, I'm not as excited about XP treasures. I guess I'll pick them up though. Okay, so these guys, I can now... Stun this thing? Because, yeah, that 50 wood's going to be really good. Although, I almost think I need to build this right now. Because, so, basically, shrines... Yeah, if you haven't played Japanese or don't know the game very much, uh, you build a shrine and then animals will huddle around it. Oops, maybe I should have done that first. Whatever. Oh, bears are kind of tough, actually. Uh, make sure, yeah, there you go. Okay, so I need the wood because I need to build shrines because they make me passive income. And, okay, so this is going to make my shrines cheaper and I think it also makes them, yeah, they work a little faster as well. So all the good things. And then other than that, pretty simple, straightforward uh, first ages in Age of Empires 3. Just everything's going to go on food now. I could set this on wood because like the shrine I can actually decide what I want to generate from it. I think I'm going to keep it on food though because we're going to try to advance quickly here. And then maybe we'll just send in some wood in our next shipment. And I, I'm pretty sure I, I allied with the Portuguese. I think that makes our advancing a little bit cheaper. Might be wrong though. I don't even know if I should be picking up these tiny little treasures. 
I feel like I should be going out there looking for other wood treasures or just exploring the map, but I guess we'll pick them up. They're pretty close. I like the little wind effect. You can kind of see it's like sweeping through there with the snow. It's, that's a nice, nice touch. All right, and we'll take that. And that's good because we're actually, yeah, that's useful. That gets us to our next shipment, picking up that experience. And what's this? Food. Yeah. Okay, I guess we can get some food. And so now, EGM, I mean, another little bit different mechanic. I like this shrine, because it basically acts like a giant super shrine. And what's cool is I can actually keep making villagers, even while I'm advancing, so that's pretty sweet. Though, now that we're advancing, we aren't going to need this many on food. I think we only need six on food to keep villagers coming out. Just a free treasure hanging out there. Okay, how's my ally doing? He's just hunting. Yep. Okay, so I need to start building shrines. This is my my whole thing is Japanese. So now my shrines are a little bit cheaper because I got that uh, that one card. And I don't know. Should I rush? I mean, I've got a couple of different units. I can rush with some archer units. I can rush with some gunpowder units. I could just boom for a little bit. Uh, actually, this is where it gets good. It's, so you can see I got all the animals here, so that's going to pump up its speed. And I'm actually going to switch this to wood. And so I can see I'm getting 0.43 wood. I actually really like one of these changes in Definitive Editions. You can actually see all these numbers now. It's much more clear than it was previously. Oh, how great would this be? So he's killing the guardians for me, and then I steal a treasure. <laughs> That's worth the whole shrine, too. Nice. <laughs> Later, man. That was pretty lucky. Was that my ally? Just, oh, no. No, that wasn't my ally. Yes, even better. Although I, I would have taken that for my ally as well, because I need wood right now. Okay, so we're almost advanced. I'm going to have two shipments to send. I am sitting on that because I get better shipments in the next stage. So I think we'll probably send wood. Your technological advantage is impressive. Um, and Use it well to gain the edge on the battlefield. All right, I actually got a ton of wood here, so why don't we make, make that? Man, this is a lot of animals. This is a perfect map for what I'm doing. Yeah, because all these shrines, you can see they collect these animals. And I'm, I kind of already explained it, but I just want to be clear. This is this is a pretty amazing right now for what I'm trying to do. Shrines are also houses, so I'm getting a ton of population space as well here. And so now I'm going to sever my ties with uh, Portugal, and I'm going to go isolationist. Because it's got some pretty cool stuff. One thing though is, um, as you're spamming the shrines, gotta make sure you don't do it too close to your ally, because they can't actually take from the animals if you're doing that. And animals are super important for every civilization. That well, I don't know, maybe there's ex exceptions, but okay, let's um no, let's make. I don't really have enough food to do this, but I guess we can. Send some of these forward. Maybe we'll go raid a little bit. So they're like making a batch of three, and I like this that I just have to be able to afford five right before the end, and I get the full batch of five, even if I click it at the last second. Like right here, I just add the fifth, and they're all gonna come out. And see, boom, there's five of my little archer guys. I'm not sure how many I'm going to make though, because I'll probably switch over to Ashigaru Musketeers pretty soon. Oh, is that ally? That's ally. Okay. Well, let's just go over here. I don't know. Oh, no, actually, hang on. Sorry, they're not on the other side. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So they're going to be down here. Now I got you. 
攻撃じゃ何で承知した So basically, you just don't stop spamming shrines. And、uh, I've sort of broken that rule already. Alright, let's see. I mean, a daimyo would be pretty great. I think I'm just gonna send more villagers. Definitely more food, though. It's funny, you need so few on wood. In Age of Empires 2, you want 50 50 with food and wood, but in this game, you want way more on food. Oh. We're attacking each other here. Ah,、uh, no. Oops. Lost him. Okay, so they're raiding this. That's fine. I mean, I can build shrines faster than they can take them down. Alright, now try that again. I mean, this is so good. <laughs> I'm not used to having this many animals. Alright, let's,、uh, let's go fight. I don't know, blue. Let's see, what are scores looking like? Okay, purple's doing a little better. Actually, my ally、uh, looks like he's falling a bit behind. Totally forgot to mark it. That's always really important. And I'm also going to build a castle. Which is like a defensive building.、Uh, and it's like an artillery place all in one. That's my food here. Okay, I think we got lots, so we don't need to send that.、Uh, maybe we'll just go with the. You know what? We'll go Daimyo, but I do want to make the Ashgaru attack next. And get all the upgrades, all that efficiency stuff. Oh, oh snap. snap. Was that、okay. your army? Uh, yeah. Okay. I wasn't. Didn't have all my troops together there. Not good. Probably gonna lose all those guys now. I don't know. Maybe I'll get them away. Okay, we're doing alright. He's not like. He's not up in my business here, but. Definitely feels like I'm losing a bit of map control here. Can't tell if they changed the,、um, the snare effect there or not. I saw a lot of infantry there, and I don't have much gold, so I think I'm going to make some archers. Get, yeah, there we go. This is what I need. This daimyo unit is amazing. They're like a mobile barracks. Yeah, so I should probably start thinking about、uh, upgrading or going up to the next stage. Maybe we'll put this on gold. Is there no timer? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we do have a timer. Alright. I mean, he's got a lot here. So this guy's gonna train a new batch. Gotta be a little careful I don't lose him. It's kind of hard to replace. Oh, this is dangerous. Come on. Uh oh. I think I gotta get out of there. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Alright, well, let's balance out my economy for a sec and assess the situation. Um, let's see if we can go up to the next stage. I see a little bit more gold. And in fact, I could just send a gold shipment. I think I'm going to send. That's the Ashigaru attack. Okay. So Ashigaru is my musket guys here. And how much does that actually increase their attack?、Uh, only 15%. Okay, I was thinking it'd be something a little stronger. And I'm going to need to send. I think my next shipment. I got to send some more food. I mean, that's not bad. 
All right, so let's go up next stage. As you can see, we're already going into the third age, and this would be a very quick, fast castle in Age of Empires 2. And we've already had a bunch of fighting in this one as well, so it's a very different pace than I'm used to. Uh, Golden Pavilion's pretty good, man. It's pretty good. Let's do it. Alright, let's make sure we're getting all our market upgrades. Uh, 10%. Mm, that's a lot of resources, though. Mm, I guess we could also use our, um, where is it? This thing. Oh, ah, that's the whole reason I got this. Right, so if I get this technology, I can train in batches of 10 instead of 5. Which, if you have enough shrines, which I'm not doing a great job building, and he's destroying. Hey, what are you doing? Uh oh, what was this? Gold. Alright. Uh, let's send this. Perfect. Why do you have a tiny army doing nothing in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> do you call that a strategy? Oh, what are these guys doing in the middle of nowhere? Whoops. I like the AI will really call you out sometimes. Okay, well, this is unfortunate. We gotta wait for this to come in. Because these don't last forever. We've only got like 700 food left on the last one. Uh, mining, yeah, okay. Alright, this is a lot of Ashigaru. I think we're getting there. And what's my ally up to? Let's see his town. So he's got War Hut, Farm. What's happening? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, this is a bit of a disaster. Okay, you guys go there. I need to hit the next stage. Okay, but when I hit the next stage, we're fine. Okay. Um, can I build this here? Yeah. Okay, so actually if we want to start trying to make like a forward base, that might not be a terrible idea. There you go. Oh, that's so nice, being able to train 10 at once. Alright, leveled up. And what do we need? I mean, this is pretty good. Attack. I think I'm gonna go with the upgrade for my daimyo though, so that you can train troops even faster. Alright, so let's, uh, it's the forward castle, let's see, maybe like here. Alright, forward team, I think we got this, we've got, we got a lot of muskets here right now, or Ashigaru. Yeah, I want to make sure I'm staying right at my limit of how many shrines I can have. Oh, it's going to be a big fight. Wait, where's his army? <laughs> oh, here we go. What are these? Okay. See, it's so hard for me to tell what is going to be good against what. Yeah, I think we're winning that one. I don't know, Ashgaru pretty good. It's, yeah, until they get artillery, I'm feeling pretty good about that. So maybe I'll make some Doom Riders there. I'm gonna make this guy the home shipment. We're gonna make some Siege. And this is something that's very different. Like, I just have a few villagers forward so they can just chop whatever they want, right? I don't need to... warriors are upon the enemy's town. Hmm. They will spare no one. <laughs> I love the little celebrations they do. This almost looks like a trade route going on here. 
but I don't think it is. I think it just caught him in the middle of something. Alright, forward. There's my, my daimyo. You gotta keep him safe all the time. I mean, Ashigaru working out for me right now, so let's just keep doing that. I think it's some techs, and I don't know, we could, uh, I was gonna say we could probably advance, but definitely not. Yeah, let's get some of these guys. I think we just need units up here. I'm a little bit two versus one. Uh, what's going on back here? We're kind of stuck on... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, my score's not that much better than his, but I'm just a little more aggressive, I think. I'm actually going to go for some samurai, just kind of mix up unit types, because then I know whatever he's got, I've got a counter to it. Alright, let's go forward. More shrines? Yes, please. Oh, I think I'm, I'm at my build limit for shrines, that makes sense. I just wonder if I can make more. My empire has been defeated. I offer my surrender. Yes, maybe we should have done next level up. Maybe I could have done expert. Not sure. Because they just rush you really early sometimes in expert. Uh, let's protect our shrines here, finally. And this is what's so great about shrines. There's so much map control, so much map vision. Uh, maybe we'll... Let's see what this looks like. I like the little flame effect that you get on there. That looks good. Oh, what's this? A fort? <laughs> That's very unfortunate timing to have that come out, bud. Yeah, you can get like the little smoke and everything. Like the the small effects like that definitely make it seem. I mean, just looking at the other one in, in contrast, it's quite a difference. <laughs> it sounds like bowling balls when they uh, when they hit that. Like my diamond's pretty tough too. I think he can get in here and, and fight this guy. I hope. Don't lose your diamond. All right, I think we're fine. Oh, here he comes. Okay, here comes the cavalry, but not actual cavalry. <laughs> There we go. Let's see what are these. I got Plume Spearman, Jungle Bowman. Okay. I mean, I certainly like the tooltips. It's very easy to, to look up the stats of units and all the little hidden bonuses and stuff, too. Okay, things are getting a little chaotic now. Let's uh, mix some of these. I think we're ready to advance. We shall fight again oh no, there we go. Day, but for now, I request to resign. So we're going to go up. I uh, probably would have gone with... I've already got a daimyo, so I, I don't think I'd go with that one. The Great Boat is pretty cool because you can see... Um, you can use informers and you can see the whole map for a couple minutes. So I think that's pretty good in like 4 vs 4 is if you like can't really see the other guy's town. But in this case, I think I probably would have gone with this for extra experience. But yeah, I definitely like the look of the game. It's some of the layout and the user interface. Is, I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I, I think basically all the changes are for the better, in my opinion. I'm using the Age of Empires 2 layout of things as well, so that the resources are in the Age of Empires 2 location, but there are other ways you can uh, set up the interface. But yeah, I, a lot of the changes are really good, and I, I could see this being a lot more friendly, I think, for somebody who's just playing it for the first time than I think the original Age of Empires 3 was. And really quick games too, so just 21 minutes and, you know, felt like we certainly didn't just like rush him down right away. So let's check out post-game. Okay, I'm not, oh right, okay, I do know about this. So like you're leveling up your city, you're not unlocking new cards anymore, but you can upgrade your city and make it look differently. So there is still a point to getting experience and, and you know, having most improvements, most military units, all that stuff.
Cool, yeah. Wow, he got a lot of treasures. What is free resources, man? Uh, okay, so how much you send? It's very detailed compared to Age of Empires too. Hmm. Is this resources spent on buildings and then number of buildings built? Because that's, yeah, wow, that's very detailed. I kind of wish Age of Empires 2 had that. And it even tells you your favorite unit and stuff. Yeah, that's pretty good. Whoa. <laughs> you can see everybody advances at like the exact same time. And even here, it's, yeah, interesting. It's such a simplified Dark Age. Everybody just kind of goes through it in like five minutes. Cool. Well, looking forward to playing a little bit more of that. And um, I'm not sure if I'll post a lot of one-on-one -on -one skirmishes, but I think when the full game comes out, I'd like to play a little bit of multiplayer and maybe I'll put up a good multiplayer match. And so hopefully that gives you guys an idea if you're interested in the game or not and if you like the changes and whatnot. Personally, just first impression, it does seem like a big upgrade to me. And obviously I'm coming at that from an Age of Empire 2 perspective and not somebody that, you know, loved Age of Empires 3. But I would expect a lot of Age of Empires 3 players are going to be really happy with this. But that's going to be all for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. What? What? Let's go. Let's go.